Hello, my name is Malachi Carter, and today I'll be presenting my essay entitled The Feminist Movement, which I believe has changed throughout the years since 1800s to now. I believe that it has changed for the worse and not for the better because they they don't stick to, to their guns, I believe, and they don't, they're being hypocrites. Like, they'll talk about one thing and then do the next thing the very opposite of the other, and they preach about equality, but they don't really want equality, they just want to be better than all the other people. And it's not all feminists, but the ones who are like the leaders or like the speakers or who are like, who like carry the feminists, the, fe the feminist name are turning into something bad. When I first thought about this essay, I was watching uh, memes and it was a few memes about feminists and I was laughing at them and I realized like, like what if this, like are people acting like this? So I researched it and kept on researching until I figured out that they they have been doing this for since they're basically like like yelling about things that don't matter I guess you can say like some things that do they do matter but they usually don't talk about those things and they make it seem as if women have been mistreated that 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 women basically have no rights when they which they do have rights now and and I feel like and they make it seem as if men don't don't go through an everyday struggle and if you're a different race. Like, if you're the most popular race, let's say white, and you're a male, you can't, they think you can't speak of anything because of white privilege. And they say, since you have white privilege, you can't speak or do anything about this. And you basically have no voice in the say. In actuality, you're, you're an American, and you should have voice in the say. And when I, I was when I'm going through the process of it, I was thinking of, of how, how different it may be than other organizations, like you know, like there are many different types of things, like in, like instead of instead of productive, they choose not to. They choose to ruin everything they make. Yeah, that's basically the gist of my essay. When you say feminist, who exactly or what exactly is a feminist? Oh, if you go back to dictionary. Dictionary definition, it's a person who believes that gender equality, like everything should be the same between genders. But I, I feel as if the feminist movement has changed. Like you have women who aren't feminists but, 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 but believe in gender equality because they realize that the feminist movement is not about gender equality anymore, it's something different. Okay, so I guess what I'm hearing is that feminists are females only? No. So there could be anybody that's seeking gender equality? Yeah. And what does gender equality mean? Equality between genders. Uh, what does that mean though? Equality? Yeah. Equal? Yeah, but when you say feminist, you know... The same? The same? Yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't understand what you mean. If you say gender equality, break it down so I can understand. What I said the, the dictionary gender, ah, the dictionary definition is a person who fights for gender, gender equality. Yeah. But I say my definition is different from that because I believe the feminist movement has changed throughout the years. Instead of being gender equality, it's more about being for themselves and thinking that women are more up than men. Okay, so I guess I'm understanding gender equality as people are feminists as people who believe that a male and a female should be equal in every way? Yes. That's what the dictionary definition is. Okay, so... But I believe as if some of the members are like, I guess, taking it too far, maybe. Like, maybe they're, they're make, basically making sure that the women are more up than the men or talking about things that like, or they make up things that don't make sense. Give me an example. The pay gap. Hmm? The pay gap. Pay? The pay gap, or the wage gap. Okay, the wage. Okay, what's the situation with feminists? And the wage gap? Yes. Well, basically they're saying that for every, that a woman gets paid 30 cents less than a man on like any day or job, mm -hmm. but it's actually not that. It's actually, it's the median, the median earned between men and women, I think divided by that, mm -hmm. which comes out, and then, and then they say it's 70, it's 70, it's just a 30 cent difference, but then they don't put in extra extra factors as in like what job you have, what position where you work, uh, what 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 make what if you went to college or not, things like that. It just put like all 
the earnings of a man and all the women of, of a woman, and they just categorize that differently. Okay. Would that mean, because if it's gender equality, and both are equal as the work, is it just women trying to be equal to men, or men equal to women, or? Uh, Here's my, my example. Uh, women can take maternity leave and get paid. Men can't. Yeah. So is that equal or not equal? That's not equal. Okay. All right. So there's some things where... Yeah, but then again, a man can't get pregnant. That's right. Yeah. So there's some things that it can't be equal on. Yeah. Some things you just, it just can't be equal. And some feminists, I guess, don't think about that, I guess. They want everything to be the same, but it's, you just can't do it. Right. Because I figured if uh, somebody can mind. No, somebody at the door. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was for you. Yeah. All right. Um, I still have a question about the whole gender thing. Gender, gender, gender. equality. Okay. If, I mean, if it's supposed to mean everybody's equal, both sexes are equal, why are they not? Because the wage thing is kind of like, okay, if you take maternity leave out of it, that's not, man can't get pregnant, man can't take maternity leave, what, the female can get pregnant and take off and get paid. Mm -hmm. So it can't be equal. I mean, but other, but it's, but when you take paternity leave, you also have to deal with bearing a child. Yeah. I guess. Well, it's, not, it's not an easy task. It's not like, they're like, like they have, they, give, they go to waste scot free. You still have to take, you still go through like, you know, struggles, like as in, they might, their moods change and things like that. Well, it, well, well, that's what I'm getting at. That's exactly what I'm saying. When, when I'm, when you say gender equality, there are certain things that men and women can't do. Sure. So, they, I mean, they really can't be equal in every way. They can't be equal. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. All right, so I'm now trying to understand if they can't be equal in every way, how is there such a thing as gender equality? It's just a thing that they fight for. Okay, and what are they fighting for specifically? Gender equality. No, I mean something. Yeah, if you say okay, gender equality, what does that mean? It's kind of mean some some action has to be taken for something. Uh, to make everything the same between genders. Okay, so you can't make everything the same. Okay, okay so we have similar bathrooms. Similar bathrooms. Similar clothes. I mean, we don't have similar bathrooms. We don't have uh, what's it called? Similar clothes. No. No. Because I mean, you a guy. I mean, I guess. Just uh, close to non-binary, as in they don't have a gender, but they can't also have a gender because depending on how you feel about skirts and things about like that. Like a man can wear a skirt, but like a man can wear a skirt, a man can wear leggings, a man can wear a bra or panties or things like that, which are usually specified to women. Mm -hmm. And like women can wear uh, men's clothes. Men's clothes also, right. if they choose to. It's right. all about choice. Right, right. But they're not. They're not. That's not their fighting for. Are they fighting to wear men's clothes? No. Well, okay, so what else are they fighting for? They're fighting for, like, the pink tax. They fight for that, which doesn't make sense. It's basically a tax, like, anything that a woman buys is more expensive than a man buys because women, like, deodorant, a woman's deodorant is, like, maybe 20 cents more expensive than a man's deodorant because women have delicate, more delicate skin, I guess. Like, they went to a... Uh, they went. They asked questions like, if you went going to the, if you went to the deodorant, the bo bottom of the deodorant, like the ingredients, you would see that a man's deodorant is different than a woman's deodorant, and a man's deodorant doesn't even cover the full thing. That's like covers like this much, while a woman's deodorant covers like this much in ingredients. They put more time and things into it than than a man than a man's deodorant. So do the gender feminists want them to make them both equal? No, they just want it to be equal. They just want the price to be equal because they because the they see as the deodorant deodorant is the same thing, but it's not the same thing. It's actually different. Okay, so or or, or as if uh, when you get your clothes put, it, put when you put your clothes in like the you no know, like the shop that clean your suits and ties and things like that. Uh, women were asking why it's more expensive for a woman's dress or whatever to go for a woman's dress to go. To, to get tethered, why it's more expensive while in a man's dress, and the reason why is because the man, the man's dress is like every man's clothing is nearly the same, so they just put it on the 
they just put it on the rack and they hand press it. But when it's women's dress, it has to be like manually hand pressed, not robotically. Mm -hmm. if that's the word, hand press. Mm -hmm. So they and so they're, they're arguing over whether to lower that. So basically, they're arguing over to lower things that are higher for specific reasons, but they choose because it's just for women to lower. Yeah, I can understand that. Okay. Well, something I would say, I'm still trying to understand it, because most of the buying is done consumer-wise, especially in the malls. Mm -hmm. I would say probably 75, 80% of it's for women. I said that too. I've been in mall in a while, so I wouldn't, I can't be 100% sure. Well, it's pretty much women are consumers. Yeah, because women, more women go to the malls. Yeah, so again, if it's, if it's gender equality or liberal equality, how does it affect that? Do, do they lower the amount of things available to women to match men? Uh, so they only want to... You know what I mean? Is that how that works? Less items to buy for women, the more the equal it for men? I don't, I'm not a feminist. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, okay. You didn't talk, you didn't study that part. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't study, like, I'm not an activist for it. I'm just saying, like, the things they do, like, they're arguing for things that, that make sense, but they're arguing that it doesn't make sense when it should make sense. Okay. Now, you, you have any more examples? Uh, more examples? Of things that they're fighting for? To be equal? To be equal? Yeah. We talked about the pay gap. Uh, they argue that women aren't leaders in society, which is a, a bad argument because, because it's not the men's fault that women are bad at society. Well, not bad at society, but it's not the men's fault that, that women, some women don't choose to be leaders. I mean, you see every day that more women are being leaders, like uh, the girl who got, the woman who got shot, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Who got shot in the face in a different in a third world country? I forgot her name. She has a book. Malala. Yeah, Malala. And she's a leader. And you have other leaders like I'm trying to think. The first lady, the first lady like Michelle Obama and Harry Tubman. Harry Tubman was a woman leader, I guess. Uh, Rosa Parks. She was a woman leader. So what? So a rights activist too. Things like of that nature, like they're arguing for things that make no sense. Like if you if you showed me if you showed me a video if you showed me like a video of a woman of a feminist, not a woman, a feminist, like showing like act, being activists for things. Most of the things they argue for don't make like it. Just I can't wrap my head around why people would do this. Like, and also to be a feminist, you can't just be a feminist. You have to take like the whole role of like a liberal, which no one, and I mean, I'm not gonna say no one, but like people don't wanna do. So like, if you, if you are a feminist, you have to dislike Donald Trump or like fat acceptance and do all those other things. You have to like Black Lives Matter. You have to like all those other things instead of being you. Now, you found all this in your research? Yeah. So, I mean, you really don't have much freedom of choice then if you're going to be a feminist. A feminist. Because, and they're saying that, like, men don't respect women correctly, and they're saying, you know, teach men not to rape. But, like, it's also, like, that's, you could say that to anything. Like, you know, teach, teach women not to wear makeup or things like that. Like, things that affect society. Wait, makeup doesn't affect society. I just, that was stupid, but, like... I don't know. Things that have just, it's just weird, I guess. Well, no. I mean, I'm asking questions because, yeah, I'm not sure, well, I'm not sure what's going to be asked, but I'm kind of taking it from my own perspective. It's kind of like, I mean, I see people as equal. Yeah, but like, some people just don't do that. No, what I'm saying is, God made everybody the same. If somebody chooses to be a mom and not an activist, that's their choice. Yes. If a man, you know, a man behave one way, one behave another way. That's the okay. choice. It's somebody decided to do whatever. And uh, when you talk about um, even leadership or how men treat women, uh, 
some, but all of those men had a mop. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> they probably had women around. So I would, you know, I would think that the females in their lives wouldn't want them to be like that. Hmm? Wouldn't want them to be like that. Well, probably have influence on how they are. Yeah. That's what I would think. Um, because women have a lot of influence on men. Mothers, wives, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and they're like basically saying like, like women power and things like, like, there's like men's conferences. Like, did you hear about National Women's Day? That's, uh, yeah. Yesterday? Yeah. Did you know that there was a National Men's Day? No. I didn't know that either. No, I'm sure I didn't. I only knew about the Women's Day because we celebrate National uh, Women's History Month. This yeah, this is National Women's Day. But there's not, like, I didn't know that until yesterday when I had to look it up. Right. Like, why would I have to look that up? Like, why are you pushing towards this thing and not pushing towards the other thing? Right. Or well, that, that's, that's my point when I asked about explaining this whole gender equality thing, because to me, it's, it, it is equal. Because uh, women have just as much of Opportunity as a man does. I would believe so. You know, if you look at the women in the world that have power, like Queen Elizabeth, and anybody could, in this country anyway, you could go be as rich or as... Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity in this country. I, I would say so. Um, I would also say that men, in general, not all of them, do treat women less than what they are. Yeah, but they're making it seem as if all men do it. Or well, all men don't do it. All men, all men, some men are just cool, some men are bad. It just depends on your experiences with the men. Right. But you're well, making, making a just of all your experiences. Like, uh, a girl could have broke my heart, but that doesn't mean I don't think all girls are heartbreakers. Right. Or a different race could have done something to me. That doesn't mean that, that that one race is every, like, that one race does that. It's just. Right. But well, they make it seem as if, like, all men, like, rape or do something like that when all men are just. Most men do not rape. Oh, right. I mean, I think women have a case in, in a lot of point, places, but also think that. Uh, they contribute to a lot of it too. Yeah. I mean, the example I use with that, okay, let's say, all right, men do a lot of, there's a lot of sexual abuse, for example. But at the same time, there's also a lot of, um, what would I call it, uh, women who over display themselves. You, you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Like wearing less clothing? R right. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's almost like, there, there are women out there that want to have the sex appeal, but they don't want the result of what they're doing. Yeah, they're like not dealing with the consequences right. of their action. That's they're making it seem as if, like, they're just walking by, not wearing nothing but like a tank top and shorts, and expect nothing to happen. Right. Like, they're like they're talking about catcalling. They're like, why do men catcall? And it's just because you're wearing loose clothing. Like, right. if you wear more clothing, like, if a girls wearing like, uh, what do the Muslims wear? Burkas. Mm -hmm. I bet a man wouldn't catcall her because that's right. He couldn't. He wouldn't have anything to see. That's exactly right. You're making it. You're making him see those things because you are wearing those things. So, like they're saying, "Well, oh, well, it's me. Like I'm scared whenever a man walks. Like whenever I'm walking down the street because there might be a man to hold me or carry me somewhere that I don't want to go. But I'm like, just carry something to protect you." Like carry like a taser. I don't know if those are legal, but carry a taser or pepper spray or things of that nature. Like you're acting like you're defenseless. Well, yeah. And you know, it's, what's interesting is, at least to me, is I, it, it, you're finding you're making it an issue because that's your your talk is about that. But is there an angel race? I mean, is it you know, women more more good than men or men? But, I don't think so. I think it's even, but they're like making well, it seem that they're, they're less. Like I mean, like I was talking about when, we were, when I wrote my paper on the when I was talking about the pay gap on my paper. Mm -hmm. I figured out that women make it seem as if they like make a dollar and we make like billions of dollars, or like they're getting like the scraps of what we we make. It's just that we just we just take more opportunities, I guess, and you and you choose not to, I guess, or the women who choose not to. Don't get mad at men because they they're they're doing something. Get mad at the women who chose to be the last thing that the man is. Stop getting mad at the man for that. It doesn't make any sense. No. Make it seem that as if it's our fault when it's actually not our fault. Well, we're just 
being us and you're just hating. It seems like both sides, not seems like, both sides can improve on themselves. Yeah. Especially. No one's perfect. But they make it seem as if women are perfect, like, whoa, it's me, but it's actually just Do they really? Yeah. Like, as if, I'm not saying all feminists, because all fem some feminists are actually, like, you know, like, they actually advocate for both sides. But, like, feminists, like, feminists that I'm talking about, the feminists that I'm talking about, don't care about men's issues, only care about women's issues. How, like, in every state, the male, the women have a higher going, have a higher chance of going into high school than, I mean, passing high school than men do. But you don't hear about that. You hear about, oh, well, you know, women are not in the engineering field or the techni techni technological field. they rather, you know, be doing psychology or things like that. Or, and then they talk about other things in society as if it's their fault. Like, they're talking about video games and they're saying how video games over-sexualize their characters. And then they're like, it's the men's, it, when it, whoever makes these games, whoever makes these games are causing all these problems and actually just making a character. And they're saying, well, these games have no leaders, but I can name tons of games where they have game characters who can be, girls who are game characters who are leaders. I'm not saying that most games have women, video game characters have, most, most games have, have, uh, more women leaders in games. I'm saying, I mean, there's, I think there's definitely more men in years in games, but like, why does it matter that a gender makes the gaming experience different? It should be the same. Like, if, if I if I, I would play Tomb I play Tomb Raider and I play uh, like I don't know, uh, trying to think of a name, like Spider Man Two. I play both those games, and they both and I think Tomb Raider is a better better game, just because Tomb Raider is more fun. It's more adventurous. So, what do you think the real purpose of the feminist movement? Before it was to get rights of women, now it's changed into something different. Especially when we talk about the waves of feminism. Did you hear about the word waves of feminism? Well, first wave is like they talk about the rights of a woman, they advocated for no slavery, they wanted everyone to have rights. And they basically wanted everything, like everything that women have now. And then second wave, they wanted reproductive rights and things of that nature. Basically, so they can, or like Plan B and things of that nature. And in this way, they just want, I don't even know what they want. It's just, it's, it's out, of the, out of the ordinary. Like they, they preach for women's, they preach for equality, but then the next second, they're, they're not preaching for equality. They're preaching for something different to help the women and not the men. Do you feel that the feminist movement is causing more problems than they're solving? Yes. How? Because... I mean, you can go on social media and search feminism, and they're causing problems for like, like if if I were to go, I'll go up here and say anything. Like, say I believe there's there's only two genders, they will bash me for it because they believe that there's more than two genders, which I don't I don't see it make sense. Like, there's only two genders, but you're making it seem as if there's 48 or 72 or 65. There's only two. Like, yeah, transgender is not a gender. It's something different. I guess you can call it sexuality. Maybe, but they make it seem as if it's a gender. When you're not, you can't be born trans. You're born a girl or a boy. That's, right. That's and then they make it seem and then they they're hitting on doctors for making genders like saying you're a boy or, or a girl. Uh, uh, a boy or a girl. They're they're making they're like making mean comments to doctors on babies like on the fact that they're categorizing babies as a boy and the girl and they're talking about gender roles as if how like a boy has to be strong and like of the prince like the prince charming while a girl has to be sad and you know sad not sad but like has to wait for the prince to save her instead of saving herself you know like how have you ever heard like like shrek how the princess waited for shrek to come instead of waiting instead of saving herself but then again but then again, when a man shows feelings to a particular female, they'll bash him for showing feelings. They'll call him names, like cry baby and things like that. And that teaching the man that that's not working to get females. That's not working, so I have to be tough. I have to act a certain way so then I can actually, like, so I can get the person that I want instead of, you know, getting my heart thrown away. And 
they, they would advocate for you know women doing that, but they're not advocate for men's feelings and the men being stronger, and they'll just laugh in their face instead of actually doing something. Okay, so what I'm gathering now is that you feel that the feminist movement is doing more harm to society than doing more good. Than it is good. They used to do more good in society than harm, but now it's changed towards the 20th century, I guess you can say. Okay, so then do you feel that, well, let me ask you, how do you feel about the feminist movement going into the future? I feel as if it nothing changes, it may go down into a spiral. You know, uh, hopefully it'll change for the better. Maybe they're right and I'm wrong. Hopefully that's true. But right now I see it as if they're wrong and I'm right because... What, well, let me ask this question. What makes them right or make it right or wrong? Like, sometimes I agree with feminists on some things, but don't agree with feminists on other things. Like, I'm not, I guess I'm not a fool against feminists, but I agree with them on some things how, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Viagra is paid by, is paid by uh, insurance companies, but not Plan B. And, when, and they're very similar things, because Plan B makes you not have a baby, Viagra makes you, makes you sexually aroused, I guess. Okay. So... And I agree that they either both of them should be on insurances or none of them should be on insurances. Oh, what, what do you mean? Oh, one is paid for by an insurance company? One, Viagra is paid for by insurance if you wanted it, but Plan B is not. And if you wanted Plan B, you would have to pay extra. But with Viagra, I think it's like a standard package. So anyway, um, okay, so the feminist movement. Um, the reason why I ask the question, what makes it right or wrong, is because I think it's a good question to ask. Because I think sometimes right and wrong can be the big, you know, the police thing, they, you know, it's like that a lot of times. You know, somebody pulls over somebody, you know, we're all talk about Black Lives Matter. Police pull over somebody and they got a gun in the car. I'm sure they get nervous as all heck. And they get nervous. I'm sure they get nervous as all heck. And if a person just, you know, just makes the wrong move, you're going to think it only takes a split second. A split second until someone's And it's there you go. But then, I mean, the whole thing about feminism is, again, it's, to me, it's a, it looks like it's more of a point of view than it is anything else. Is it constructive? Constructive as in defined. In other words, is. A feminism or a feminine movement constructive. Constructive means just what it is. Construct something that's constructive builds. It builds. I mean, good things. It build, good. Is it building good things? It depends on which feminists we're talking about. Because some feminists actually build good things, but the others build bad things and make the country worse than it already is. Like, uh, you know how they have women's conferences and women stand up, but like, there's a man, man conference in like 2016. And they're talking about how men have high suicidal rates, how men have all these troubles in life. But these feminists, like I think it was like 200 of them or so, uh, they they took they shut it down. They like they're oh, they like they're they were talking, and then the feminists were rallying outside like not to do it, like not to have the conference, ruining a conference, and educating other people. And it wasn't as if it was just all men. It was actually women talking about the situation also. Sure. Yeah. And they they act as if. It was just patriarchy, which patriarchy is basically saying that uh, that men are stronger, men control like the whole government system and things like that. Which I guess they they think that because of the patriarchy, they can't do anything. I guess. Uh, but the men's conference, they like they shut it down because they were talking about men's issues, like dropout rates, suicide rates. I already said that, but suicide rates and things like that, and they shut it down for no apparent reason just to show that, you know, women are better, I guess. And then also, they, 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 they preach about freedom of speech and things about like that. But then when it comes to freedom of speech, if someone goes against them, they don't want it, as in the men's conference, that counts as freedom of speech because they were talking about men's issues, and they shut it down. We have uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. He was, he's an activist. He's a Trump supporter and things like that. Uh, he, was, he, had a, he had something at a college like he was talking at a college and the feminist shut it down. We had Ben Shapiro, who was who was who's also another Trump supporter, and he was and he was talking about history in his speech and how what he believed in, and he was going to a college to talk about it. And the college campus, the college people, the people at the camp, the feminists at the campus shut it down. They're basically 
they're not they're preaching freedom of speech without doing freedom of speech. They're not showing freedom of speech. Like, talk about the KKK, right? I'm black. I don't like the KKK. But if they had a concert, not a concert, but if they're talking about the things that they believe, I'll let them do it as long as they're not hurting anybody. As long as it's not as long as it's not hurting nobody, I'll just let them do it because it's freedom of speech. I believe in freedom of speech. I believe no matter no matter what, as long as you're not hurting anybody, killing anybody, doing any harm to anybody, physically, then you should be you should be able to do it. You should be able to speak your 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 thoughts and your mind. That's what the country was found founded for, and that's why we have that amendment right. But people like the feminists are trying to take away that amendment right. I hear you. Okay, good. So there's some harm, some good. Which do you think is the prominent quality of feminists? Like the problem? Prominent, meaning that out of the good ones, are they dominating the movement or? The bad ones are dominating, definitely. Like they make the Women's March seem as if it was all about feminism, but it was all about different things. All right, good job. I think you did good. Right. Got a little fired up a little bit. <laughs> I mean, we can go on for hours. I can talk about a lot of things about the feminist movement. Oh, and there, well, that's the good thing. Because, you know, I, I'm only guessing. Well, I'm not even guessing. Because I didn't ask questions based on the judges. I asked questions based on what the I movement. hear yeah. and what I'm experiencing. And I do a lot of uh, work with females. I don't know if any of them are feminists because they never say they are. But the fact that I'm working with them doesn't hurt them because they ask me. But at the same time, I, you know, there seems to be something going on out there. But I think a lot of groups, well, I should say I think, it appears to be a lot of groups, whether it be feminists, whether it be uh, racists, bigots, well, whomever, all of them have the bad side. Ooh, and what I mean by that is, you can say, uh, let's talk about Donald Trump. Let's say, I don't talk about Donald Trump, but let's use him as an example. He's a bad president. But, uh, everybody had a bad, every president that I've known of since I've lived, somebody said something bad about. <laughs> like Obama, people were saying that he was so good, but then for nine million, he made almost, he almost doubled our how much we're in debt by. You know, things like that. Like, we're $19 million in debt because of him. Well, not, he, we're $9 million more in debt because of him. $9 billion more in debt because of him. Uh, the one before him, the guy, Bush. Bush, he made us $10 million in debt. And then Obama added another nine to it. And hopefully, maybe Trump can do something. Well, yeah. Well, I say we just don't spend anything on anything, but that might be impossible. Well, it's not impossible. But since you're on that note, a lot of people, business people, I, I can speak probably more with business people. Uh, that's who I kind of rally behind the business people. And to them, at least I feel to them, Donald Trump is good because he's not wasting money. Business people don't waste money. Yeah. They like to make money. So they cut back and they build. And they don't spend unless they make the money. That's good business man. And it should be the rule in a person's life. You don't have the money to spend, don't you spend don't it. <laughs> you know? you know? It's basic logic. Yeah, wherever, yeah. It's basic logic that nobody does. <laughs> yeah, and, and, then, and then if you go back to the feminists who are also liberals, like they want everything to be free. So like they're like, make the rich people pay for more taxes, which doesn't make any sense. Because everyone should pay the same amount. Not the same amount of taxes, but like, what you have paid, I don't know how taxes work because I'm not, no one taught me how taxes work. But like, they should be able to, they should, everyone should pay the same amount for what they've done or what they pay for. But they're making it seem, they're making the business people take more taxes out of their life, life when they've, either the person before him, who, the, the, their family line gave him the richness and someone actually had to work for it, or they worked for it themselves and you're taking that away from them. That wouldn't be a good rule. Because uh, the same person or same people that are even poor, if they became rich, they wouldn't want somebody to take from them. Yeah, they wouldn't. You know, and that's, 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 that's the way it is. I mean, anybody who earns anything is theirs. Nobody has the right to take away from anybody. Yeah, because you earned it. Except my consent. 
<laughs> you say they can take your bonds, but I mean, people do appear to use the government to take what they can't get legal. Yeah. I, I teach that in my class in the Constitution. But uh, that's, that's kind of how I like to talk about that. But yeah, you did good. Want to put the camera off? Got a whole bunch of stuff for you. And we'll test you again next week.